Hello everybody, mega goal number five, third secondary, and this is, is the writing lesson for unit number two, which is rags to riches, pages number 28 and 29. Let's take a look at the objectives. In brief, we have to write a descriptive essay, okay? Descriptive essay or maqal wasfi. Now move on to page 28. As you could recall, the title of this lesson or this unit is called Rags to Riches or From Scratch to Having a Lot of Money or From Being Poor to Being Rich. Now let's take a look at the writing lesson. As for today, as usually, I, I have already explained to you that when I'm going to teach the writing lesson, I'm mainly going to teach you a skill. I'm going to teach you a only. But the actual writing should be done after the lesson. After the lesson, after you know what you And after discussing the lesson, you should start writing. Okay? After the lesson, we'll start writing in the book. Now, let's take a look at the writing. Now, uh, let's take a look at the first section, which is section A. Now, what do you know about e-commerce? Okay, so here it's asking you what you know about if you know e-commerce. And do you ever buy books or other products on the internet? So, e-commerce, it means, uh, or also known as electronic commerce or internet commerce internet okay which refers to buying and selling goods uh, or services using the internet buying and selling uh, products or items online okay uh, have you ever uh, bought uh, books or other products on the internet? Do you have an experience? Do you have an experience? And you have في شراء من الإنترنت. What did you buy? How do you like it? Do you like buying from the internet, or do you prefer to go to the mall and shop? Now you tell me your own opinion in the comment box. Now right now let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages. And you know the meaning of advantages and disadvantages. The pros and cons. Of e-commerce in your view. So can you tell me what are the advantages or the disadvantages of e-commerce? Let's start with the advantages. Okay, the advantages probably when you go online you can find good deals or good offers. Okay, or sometimes you can find products at lower price. ممكن تشو الواحد يشوف يعني صفقات جيدة أو مثلاً يشوف عروض أو مثلاً يعني أسعار أرخص. Okay, and when you're shopping online, you you don't have to be going to the place, so no transport is needed or is required. يعني مو مطلوب إن الواحد يتنقل أو يأخذ سيارة. Probably if you don't have a, a, a mean of transportation, so the internet doesn't require any uh, transport. Also, uh, when you're shopping online, sometimes you're saving time instead of going to the mall. Now you are saving time. Uh, also, you have a varied or a wide, uh, uh, a wide range of selection and the جد خيارات. So you can search uh, in different websites for different items, and you can find the best price and the best quality. يعني عندك خيارات متنوعة ممكن تروح عدة يعني مثلا ممكن الواحد يتصفح عدة مواقع عشان يبحث عن الجودة العالية والسعر الجيد. Uh, but actually, there are a couple of drawbacks of uh, shopping online and uh, disadvantages. Uh, you, when you're buying on the internet, you can only see the photo of the products. You cannot touch the material or if you're buying uh, food, you cannot even taste it or you cannot even smell the perfume. Okay. Uh, Sometimes the products or the picture of the products might be tricky. Okay, so uh, you can see different uh, size on the internet, and when you get it, you will get a different size as well. Okay, and it will also they might differ. Okay, uh, uh, probably sometimes uh, the items may get. 
lost ممكن يعني انه يتفقد unless if they, right now they improved the delivery uh, يعني طوروا من عملية التوصيل and some and now most of the time you, they deliver by hand انهم يصلونه لل يعني يدا بيد so but sometimes it's risky that the items might get lost بعض الاحيان okay And there is also one um, major problem with shopping online. Sometimes you cannot uh, return the product and get a refund. أحيانا بعض الأحيان يعني استرجاع ال السلعة أو أو تبديل السلعة it's very complicated صعب أو مو أو sometimes it's not possible وأحيانا مو ممكن. Okay. So these are the advantages and the disadvantages of e-commerce or uh, electronic uh, or internet or, or online shopping or as it's recalled e-commerce. Now uh, this is a picture of a well-known man and he is very famous and I'm going to ask you if you have ever uh, read about this person or do you know the name of this person? And what does he do? What, what do you think? Why is he famous? Okay, so this is a picture of a man called Jeff Bezos. Okay, so he is actually uh, the founder or the CEO. Okay, Laura is a tenfidi of uh the website the famous website اللي هو Amazon اللي هو مؤسس أو رئيس التنفيذي لي Amazon. Uh, so right now, uh, we will be, uh, there is actually an article about this man and we are asked, of course, مطلوب بنا to read and of course to analyze the style of writing, نحلل طريقة الكتابة uh, about this man, Jeff Bezos, okay? So you can do this by yourself. ممكن انكم تسوونا يعني uh, in class or you can just pause the video and try to read or you can go to your book on page number 28 and read about uh, Jeff Bezos. Okay? Now let's move on and to the next question. Okay? So uh, do you know who, who Jeff Bezos is and what has he accomplished? And you are asked to scan and find out. You can just scan, go through the passage quickly and find information about this man, okay? And as I explained to you, he is the CEO of uh, Amazon company, Sharikat Amazon, okay? Now, uh, you are asked to read the text and fill in the blanks with the words or phrases. Some can be used more than once and listen and check your answers. So I have already answered this in advance uh, in order to save time, but we can do it all together. So we have here words or phrases to fill in the blanks with the correct one. And sometimes uh, you can use the word or the phrase more than once. When, here it's used three times, when, you know the meaning, where it is used twice, you can use it twice, then after one day by and as okay so here the first one when jeffrey was a it was a teenager and two where he discovered computers then completed and here number four is after number six is one day and fiona seven where he discovered okay and eight by nine when And the last one is as, okay? And then you have a recording. You can just scan the barcode. ممكن الواحد ينسخ اللي هو barcode if you have. And you start listening to the recording and check if your answers are correct. ممكن الواحد يشيك إذا إجاباتها صحيحة or not. Now let's move on to the next question. Now we have here, you are asked to identify the topic or theme of each paragraph. So here we have... To discuss the style of writing. الناقش اللي هو the style of writing of this. Yes, of this. What excellent of this um, article. So let's take a look and see how many paragraphs do we have. So one, two. So let me just write down. So this is one. And this is, is two. Three. And this is probably four. Five and the conclusion is number six. We have six paragraphs. Mainly, this is a descriptive essay, and it is actually uh, uh, about the biography, a of Jeff, uh, of Jeff. 
or Jeffrey. Okay, so let's just let's take a look at the question here, and I have already answered the question in order to save time. I'm just gonna go through it very quickly, and we will discuss it. So here, actually, if you have if you take your time and read the article, you can tell that paragraph number one actually talks about Jeffrey early life. اللي هي بداية حياة Jeffrey. Okay. When was he born and blah blah blah? Page number two, uh, or sorry, paragraph number two talks about Jeffrey as a teenager and young adult and his education. The paragraph two is talking about his life and when he was, يعني, as growing up as an adult, يعني, بدايات حياته. What did he study? What did he study? Paragraph number three actually talks about Jeffrey after graduation and work and discovery. بعد التخرج what did Jeffrey do and where did he work and the discovery اللي هو اكتشافه he discovered something very important you can just go to paragraph number three and discuss it paragraph number four talks about the internet and book selling research طبعا I want to tell you this information that Jeffrey or Jeff started his online business selling books كان بداية يعني ال online business حقه كان يبيع كتب So paragraph four talks about talks about the internet and book selling research. Now paragraph number five talked about the new online business, and the last paragraph talks about the online book selling business and the expansion and success of the Bezos family. كيف نجحت العائلة وكيف توسع مشروعها. So this is mainly what each paragraph talks about. طبعا we can say that they are in order بالترتيب it talks about gave you an introduction بداية عن early life بعدين the graduation or what did he study بعدين where did he work بعدين afterwards uh, what how did he set up his own business و also uh, yeah, another paragraph talks about an, uh, about his business اللي هو عن شغله and the last paragraph talks about his success and what he have accomplished so تلاحظون in whom they are in order okay بالترتيب this is mainly when you read a biography do you remember the biography or what when we read about uh, Sheikh Suleiman bin Abdul Aziz Al Rajhi it's pretty much the same تقريبا نفس الشيء okay now let's move on to the sixth question which is asking you to which verbs are mostly used okay or forms are used um, are passive sentences used in any section why or not why not okay so uh, this is a follow-up question first of all I could tell that uh, the most form that is used is the past form the past form so the verb form is the past form past okay forms Okay, and let's take a look at uh, here. So, and I've highlighted the words in yellow. So, it's home highlight. You can see that displayed, managed, moved, graduated, completed, work, made. All of these are in the past form. And you can go through or scan the article very quickly and find out past simple form. In general, it is the past form. Okay, in here, الماضي. But we are talking about the past simple, past perfect, and passive in the past, طبعاً. or past perfect. يعني هو نتكلم عن the past form, الماضي. Past not only form one. We are talking about forms. يعني لو تلاحظون and the simple past display managed, moved, completed, and worked. وعندي the past perfect اللي هي the internet had been used. وعندي برضو the passive which is Uh, the internet had been used. It's the same, past perfect and passive, okay? Or passive and the past perfect. Anyways, so the past forms, and why? And also, uh, are there any? Here's a question, مكتوب, which is number six. Uh, are passive sentences used in any section? تعرفون the passive, اللي هي المبني للمجهول, like the sentence, the internet had been used, okay? Uh, okay. So this is an example. The new online company was set. Okay, the site was opened. All of these J Jeffrey uh, P Bezos was born. So these the words that I highlight them. 
and blue are in the passive form so the passive form is used and why do you think it's used okay المبني للمجهول طبعا to focus on the object اللي هو أو يعني the action rather than the, who did the action عارفين معناها but it's also used or to switch focus and set a new theme from Jeff to the internet to the company and the site يعني نستخدمها عشان مثلا to switch focus إن نغير الانتباه أو مثلا نغير الانتباه from something to something so uh, that's why they have used the passive form in general okay now in number seven you are asked to make a list uh, of the key events including uh, no more than 12 items highlight them so you can just do this in class highlight like uh, Jeff Bezos was born in 1964 and he's a displayed and remarkable you can just highlight them and not more than 12 items, okay? Now, let's move on to the eighth uh, question or question number eight. You are asked to cover the text and look at your 12 items and reconstruct the story and tell your partner and then switch roles and repeat. Here, mainly what is asking you to do is just to rewrite or reconstruct and read in kitabata or read kitabata in another and to tell your friend about it, about the story of or, or of Jeffrey P. Bezos, okay? So this is mainly uh, a model to look at, and then through this model or after we analyze this, this uh, writing style, now it's time for you to write your own uh, essay now you are asked to choose famous or wealthy person any famous or wealthy person that you can think about so this is going to be the topic okay so the topic and you have to number two research information about uh, the this person's life include the event the step that took uh, the person from abstracty uh, to fame or to from poverty to wealth. طبعا um, uh, بعدين مطلوب منك انك تبحث عن معلومات عن هذا الشخص. Oh, yes, this is very important. You can just go online, ask people, or or يعني تبحث or you can look at books. Okay. Uh, طبعا ولازم t- you have to include the steps اللي هو الخطوات. Okay. طبعا اي شخص تحول من الغنى الى الثروة او من العدم او مثلا من انه يكون شخص مجرد من اي شيء يعني الى الشهرة طبعا مر بعدة خطوات اوكي طبعا you can just go online and google these steps and you can just afterwards بعدها try to fill the form or the chart sorry with the steps اوكي Note these events or steps in a chart. طبعاً ممكن تدونها. As you could see, here you have to search for any person. يعني بعض التعليقات left me a comment about Cristiano Ronaldo. He's a famous football player. And they're saying that he uh, he moved from rags to riches. يعني من الفقر إلى الغنى. Or from poverty to wealth. Okay. So you can choose, um, you can talk about or write about Cristiano Ronaldo and then you can uh, search for, this is very important, for the steps that took him from this to this. طبعاً, you will going to talk about early life and you can get, you will talk as well about uh, his life as a teenager or what did he do uh, in his after graduation or education as well okay and growing up as a teenager كمراهق or an adult okay here young adult mm-hmm. and step you can talk about the success okay or what is he why how he has became famous okay so you can just include the information okay and then uh, you can you will note of course write down the notes and then you have to afterwards write a descriptive essay about this person's life. Just remember the process of writing as I have explained to you. 
مراحل الكتابة اللي هي اللي ذك اللي شرحتها لكم في البريفيوس فيديو and they are five five steps اللي هو طبعا تذكرونها اللي هو we have to pre-write think about the topic or the things draft ريفايز المراجعة والإديتينج اللي هي التحرير وآخر شيء publishing just go to the previous video uh, the previous writing video ممكن ترجعون لمقطع الكتابة السابق okay so this is mainly what you are asked to and here is also an example and this is, is about محمد أبو تريكا he is a famous uh, footballer I think or a soccer player okay uh, طبعا a football uh, player who is called محمد أبو تريكا and he is Egyptian مصري الجنسية لاعب كرة مصري الجنسية as you could see the title is uh, يعني اللي هو العنوان عن الشخص اللي بتكتبون عنه also don't forget the identification leave uh, five to six letter space okay and then start writing a paragraph طبعا لو تلاحظون paragraph مثل ما ذكرنا اللي هو paragraph عن جيف بيزوز اللي هو في بداية عن ال early life بعدين تكلم عن young adult يعني in order طبعا وممكن تستخدمون هذا ال steps هذا ال chart عشان يساعدكم so you can just go through this okay and let's discuss the writing corner all together لأن these are very important steps or very important guidelines معلومات جدا مهمة when you write a descriptive essay about person life person's life لما انت بتكتب بقال وصفي عن حياة شخص you have to distinguish يعني تميز the main life event from the sub-surrounding information يعني لازم الواحد يفرق بين المعلومات الأساسية عن المعلومات الفرعية okay now you have to select key events that provide complete picture of how someone's life developed from time from the time they were born هنا طيب يعني هنا خط الزمن اوكي وكيف تطور الشخص من بداية حياته الى اللي وصل له اوكي so also list the event in chronological order and this is is what do we mean by it اللي هو الترتيب in order then switch them around if you wish اوكي ممكن طبعا تغير في الزمن just to switch focus or whatever خلاص uh, also, you are used to, you are rec recommended, you know, to use connectors to show the order of the event. طبعا ليه هنا عندي when, then, after, while, كلها ممكن تساعدك في ترتيب الأحداث. Okay? Now, be uh, uh, as descriptive as possible. إن الواحد يكون يعطي مقال وصفي. Describe the person's character, qualities, and action. طبعا لازم تصف شخصيته. Is he a hard worker? Is he a go-getter? The qualities, اللي هو ميزاته, okay. The actions, أفعاله, okay. And choose key events based on these qualities so that the reader has a clear picture of the person's character as well as the person's life story. طبعاً مطلوب إنك تستخدم يعني كلمات أو صو توضح بصورة واضحة عشان لما أقرأ لأن القارئ مش في المايند اوف ذا رايتر مش في عقل الكاتب فلما انا ام ديليفرينج ذس مسج اور ذس انفورميشن لما انا اوصل المعلومه اي وونت ذا ريدر تو جيت ا كلير بيكتشر انه يوصل ل الصوره واضحه عن حياه هذا الشخص سو ليتس راب ذس اب خلينا نلخص سو رايت ناو وي هاف ديسكاست هاو تو رايت ا ديسكريبتيف اساي اباوت uh, any person who has uh, moved from rags to riches or from fame or sorry from poverty to wealth فراح نكتب مقال وصفي and of course you can just try to look at the model here and you can go to the reading passage model ترجعون إلى النموذج المعطاء أو نموذج اللي, في اللي قرأنا عنه اللي عن شيخ الشيخ سليمان بن عبد العزيز الراجحي وطبعا you have to use the guidelines لأنهم جدا مهمين لهنا and remember that the process of writing goes through أن تمر بخمس مراحل so just follow the instruction حاول أنكم تتبعون التعليمات as we have discussed and then I'm sure that the final product يعني راح يكون جدا مهم وجيد يعني and I'd like to say something before I end this video قبل ما أنهى هذه الخدمة 
that what matters المهم في النهاية ال process العملية اللي أنت مريت فيها اللي تعلمت فيها أو تعلمتي فيها it's not the product itself مو فقط المنتج النهائي هو المهم this is something that I've learned a couple of years ago تعلمته من سنوات سابقة that the process is as important is more important actually يعني يقول العملية مثلا عملية الكتابة اللي أنت مثلا تمرين فيها أهم من ال product أهم من المنتج النهائي لأنه ممكن I I can choose for example كريستيانو رونالدو ممكن أروح أونلاين وأخذ المقال طبعا I don't recommend that this is plagiarized هذا يعني سرقة للحقوق لكن المعلومات موجودة على الإنترنت بس ال process واللي أشياء اللي تعلمتها في ال process ما راح أنساها This is what I wanted, how I wanted to end my video. I hope that you like it. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video with your friends, and leave me a comment of any kind if you have any question. And till next time, have a good one.